Thank you for joining us for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight, the Monday Morning Pulse Report for seafood purchasers. Some fast facts to start this week. Raw material prices for Vietnamese pangaceous increased by 5 cents last week and are now ranging between $1.15 and $1.20 per kilo. Word on the street is that pangaceous prices may increase even more this week in preparation for the holiday season. Alaskan pink salmon raw material is selling at $3,600 per ton China and Canadian pinks are even more expensive at $3,900 to $4,000 a ton China. Short supplies, high prices, are leaving Chinese processors short because Russian pinks are too soft for fillet production. In the news this week, haddock raw material prices have been hovering around $2,700 to $2,750 for the last several weeks. Meanwhile, there has been downward pressure on finished product prices. But unfortunately for buyers, this won't last much longer. Catch rates, catch rates in Iceland's major haddock fishery are disappointing to say the least. The 2011 quota called for an 11% drop under 2010. But at the end of August, Icelandic fisheries had caught 40% fewer fish than last year. On the other hand, the Northeast Arctic Haddock Fishery, jointly managed by Russia and Norway, increased its quota 25% this year. But most of the fish is destined for Europe whereas most Icelandic haddock is sold to Chinese processors. And so, the reduced Icelandic supply is expected to push up prices for raw material, and finished product prices will follow suit. So order your haddock today. In other news, high halibut prices seem to have become the norm this year, or have they? After a steep increase, prices may have hit the ceiling, and the market is now extremely unsteady. So unsteady that I've heard that a major California supplier won't, won't store halibut any longer. And finally, Pacific cod is still in very short supply in China. And to make matters worse, trawler, trawler boats have stopped catching cod in the Kodiak area due to concerns of, not getting, uh, of getting too much halibut bycatch. This is not a strike, it is just a stop and wait plan agreed by the fishing boats and they're expecting to resume fishing on September 20th. In the meantime, fixed gear fishermen are still fishing. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson. Buy smart and eat more seafood.